Hey folks, thanks for tuning in to learn more about Thales and Eyes. Today's talk will demonstrate an exciting new capability of the platform which centers around the unique value of gaining end-to-end -end visibility between your network, the internet, and the WebEx cloud. We provide you with the ability to maintain an active view of the health of connectivity to WebEx to ensure you are able to run critical business activities like town halls and board meetings smoothly and efficiently, therefore keeping your business stakeholders happy. By providing you with service assurance, we can provide extensive visibility over all the parties involved in meeting optimal user experience requirements. In these examples, we maintain a proactive view of the baseline of the health of the service by actively tracking key metrics like MOZ, as well as loss, latency, and packet delay variation. Along with that, we're also maintaining an end-to-end -end view of things like QoS or DSCP markings to make sure those policies are being honored. So in this timeline view here, we have that active view. This allows us to understand what is normal as well as being able to identify proactively abnormalities or anomalies that will be affecting sites within our network. As an example, we can see here that our Melbourne branch has significantly poorer experience than the rest of our sites. So when I go into the table view here, we can confirm that the Melbourne branch has significantly poorer experience than the rest of the sites. And we're also able to correlate this low MOS with other metrics that are going to affect the service like packet loss and latency. So I'll focus in on that particular branch. And indeed, we can see that typically this site has really good performance. But we can see at this particular moment, that performance is severely degraded. So we're going to use a key feature of Thousand Eyes, that is cross-layer correlation, to drill further down into the stack to truly really try to identify where is this problem coming from. So by selecting the path visualization view, we're able to understand what does connectivity look like end-to-end -end between our branches and the WebEx service. So having a look at this view, these green nodes here represent the branch. All of these colored circles here in between are the hops between our environment and the WebEx service over here on the right. So using the filter view up here, I can understand that we've got forwarding loss being detected in the path, which would explain why we have a low mean opinion score. And then interacting with the view here, I can also identify where this loss originates. It comes from this hop here. What we can also see is that the dark blue color indicates that these hops are within the same network as our branch. And we've quickly been able to identify not only where is the fault coming from, but also which domain this belongs to and which party owns this issue. So very quickly, we've been able to remove the finger pointing, been able to really reduce things like mean time to remediation or mean time to identification, and then ultimately getting our resources to really focus in on that problem as rapidly as possible. In the next example, we'll demonstrate a very key part of this new feature, and that's bi-directional visibility between your environment and the WebEx service. So here, again, we are tracking those key metrics in an active manner, and then also we're providing context here in the form of the path visualization. So the arrows indicate which direction the traffic is heading. So we, we can see here that we've got the forward and reverse path in the same view, as well as being able to have an end-to-end -end view. So we've not only got visibility across your WAN, but also in transit across the internet and then into the WebEx service itself. And what's interesting about this particular example is that in the forward path, we're going through this particular provider's network. But in the reverse path, we actually return through a completely different provider. So this highlights the need to get visibility across the end-to-end -end path 
so that you understand all of the different parties or all of the different providers that underpin the ability for your users to have a good experience when using the WebEx service, in particular, outside of your boundary. Okay, thank you very much for your time and please reach out to your local Cisco Thousand Eyes team to learn more. <music>